In this tutorial, we will explore a tool that allows you to examine media files. This tool is called Media Tables and Graphs. We will first give a brief explanation of the Clear Sky model, as it is used as a reference to compare our media data. Then we will show you how to view graphs and tables for a media file. Finally, we will explore the Check Data Quality tool to determine that our media files are properly set. The Clear Sky model represents the irradiance on a day with no clouds. In principle, this should be the upper limit of the MET file irradiance, though small deviations are acceptable. Note that the Clear Sky model taken as reference here is dependent on the Linky parameter describing the absorption of the atmosphere according to the water contents and aerosols. This may vary from site to site, as well as seasonally. This factor induces uncertainties on the order of a few percent. Clear sky irradiance in very polluted regions may be significantly lower than regions with clean air. The panel on the left shows characteristics of the source file. On the right, you can display graphs and tables of the MET file. You can choose from different variables, graph types, values, units, and graph dates to show any graph you would like from the MET file. You can scroll through different days using the scroll bar. By default, this shows the global and diffuse irradiances. The blue curve represents the clear sky model. You can show the same data in tables. Let's look at a table of monthly data throughout the year. You can export this table by copying the data to the clipboard or saving to a file. You can also display tables and graphs for a specific tilted plane. You can do that by clicking on this button. After, you must set the orientation of the plane and the albedo factor. If you ever want to change the plane after setting it, you can do so using this button. Next, let's see how to check the data quality of the MET file. When creating new media files, it is very important to check that the hourly values are coherent and plausible. For this, PVSYST has a dedicated tool in the Check Data Quality tab that allows one to compare MET data with the Clear Sky model. One can compare both the irradiance level and the time shift of the MET file with respect to the Clear Sky model. To use this tool, you first need to understand how PVSYST handles time shift. PVSYST assumes that hourly averages are taken from the beginning of an hour to the end. As a consequence, the solar geometry is calculated for the middle of the hour. For example, data taken from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, the solar geometry will be calculated at 8.30. However, the media data of different source files may be taken at different times. If, for example, the data accumulation was done from 8.15 to 9.15, then the reference hour for this measurement will be 8.45. In this case, a time shift of 15 minutes is required in PVSYST so that it can properly match the solar geometry calculation with the weather data from the source file. The main graph in the Check Data Quality tab shows the offset in time of the clearest day of each month in the MET file. On the x-axis, we have the month of the year, and on the y-axis, we have the offset time in minutes. The black data points represent the offset in time of the raw data, and the colored points represent the offset in time after applying the time shift. You can apply a time shift correction and change the number of minutes of the shift in this data field.
There are also three specific plots that help you visualize and adjust this correction. The first plot shows the clearness index, KT, with respect to sun height. KT is a measurement of the clearness of the atmosphere. It is defined as the ratio between the irradiance at the ground level to the extraterrestrial irradiance. The morning hours are displayed in orange and the evening hours are shown in green. These values are compared to the clear sky model in June shown in blue and in December as shown in black. This is the most sensitive tool for the adjustment of the time shift. Using the scroll bar on the right, you can show how the data points change with a given time shift. The best time shift is obtained when the orange and green points are best aligned and scattered around the clear sky model. The next plot compares explicitly the clearest day of each month to the clear sky model. In black you can see the MET data and in blue the clear sky model. The leading and falling edges should correspond as good as possible. These plots are the basis for constructing the plot of monthly values that we have seen previously. The scroll bar on the right changes the month. Here you can see if the MET and the clear sky model are offset significantly in time. You can also see if the MET irradiance is significantly higher than the clear sky model. You can use the previous day and next day buttons to see the data on other days of the month. The final plot compares the clearness index of the MET file with the clearness index of the clear sky model, sorted by decreasing KTCS. KTCS is the ratio between the KT of the MET data to the KT of the clear sky model. Values greater than 1 represent points where the irradiance in the MET file is larger than the clear sky model. Points are colored by season here. Deviations in winter are considered more acceptable than deviations in summer as the irradiance in the winter is lower, so a 10% deviation does not represent a significant deviation in irradiance. PVSYST will give a warning if the discrepancy between the MET and clear sky is too high.